קיץ. מה נאמר ומה נדבר? נתחיל בעברית ויעבור לאנגלית. ראשית כל, על המקום, אני משפחה יהודית, שמי חיים זיימן, בעברית קראו לי שם סבי שלא פגשתי, שעבד כאן בארץ צופים באוניברסיטה העברית במעבדה בכימיה, והיה בשיירות בשנים האלו. אז עצם המעמד פה, בוודאי, אבל כמובן דברים מאוד אחרים, אבל זה מקשר אותי לאדם שלא פגשתי, וזו משפחה שבאמת לא הכרתי ואני לא מכיר, אז מצד זה זה מרגש מהרבה סיבות. טוב, איך לסכם? Um, so I'll switch now to English. Um, a, a few things that were pointed out, um, but first, you know, no doubt to, to thank. I, I think um, this book is a function of discussions I had with, with uh, friends here 20 years ago in Yeshiva, but uh, would not have been written without two people who should mention. Uh, one, of course, Shabbat Moreno, but I've been on Lichtenstein, who, as I will write in the introduction, would have never written this book, uh, but who, with whom this book would have never been written. Without whom this book would have never been written. Um, and I think both of them are very true. Um, and the second is Nourid Rabbi Dudi Goshen, my cousin, uh, who, who really introduced me to a much deeper way of thinking about Halakha and, and what's been going on since his, his Odin. So, uh, it's uh, Benny, Polak is right that this book is a reaction to some degree to both Mishpat Iglim, HaMishpat Iglim, of Menachem Alon She Bekiso Anuchayet Yoshvim, in the sense that, you know, I read that book and I don't think, I think the word Talmud Torah appears a few times in that book, but never in any sustained way and always I was like, yeah. In his, I uh, have in the book, in his discussion of shooting in, in the 16th century, he said, yeah, every once in a while they kind of get a little distracted, I'm paraphrasing, distracted from the topic at hand and kind of like engage in the people uh, of the yeshiva. <coughs> and as a student of, of, of yeshiva Talasyon and others, um, you know, that, that, that was just not the world is presented. And we can talk about it in terms of bris, but I think we have to talk about it in terms of Mishnah and the Bavli and the Stam and the Bala and we should, certainly we should even have him all the way through that this, I would say, at every juncture uh, of halachic thinking, we have this tension between halacha as a regulatory ideal and, uh, and halacha as this uh, idea of Talmud Torah. So in, in part, it's a response to that. So it's a response to students in various forms, just not understanding um, what's going on. Always asking me, well, what are the rules of Jewish law? And always feeling that... Like, we could talk about the rules, but what's special, and this is how I start the book in the other way, and we went to, to write something like that, but I was zochet to go with Benny Palat, uh, was it, two days ago, to a shiul that he gives in Mishkat al-Chayadin, in which judges, uh, Supreme Court justices, and other lawyers are there. And they're studying Dinei Ona'a. And we we'll probably argue about this a little bit, but at least, at facially, not for a functional point. There's even discussion in the Shio itself whether Dinei or Na'a Chalim Bazman Azeh. And to try to understand this cultural form that we all participated in Yeshiva and that you see replicated throughout the Jewish world today and, and the Dolotea, that there's this, this, as Yehuda said, this sort of almost like, you know, Mishigas of, of the study of not legal philosophy, but very concrete things that are on the one hand concrete and the other hand wholly theoretical. And that's really the other place that this is going from is, is attempt to understand that when we say halacha is theoretical, we mean that in some radically different way when we talk about theoretical law or legal theory. Right? It's not legal theory. It's not theoretical that way. It's theoretical in this very, very different way. And I try to write, I mean, A, because I'm trying to write to a broader audience, but also because I don't understand Robert Cutler. So yes, he's all over the place, but I, I don't understand philosophy. I don't understand Robert Cutler. I don't understand this. I try to write this in a way that, like, I understand it, which is with examples and from learning uh, sugyot. And it's also a reaction to a certain move now in Jewish thought that is trying to push that word, Jewish thought, and to transform everything into um, thinkers that are always dancing around the Talmud and dancing around the halakha. And to any conception of Judaism that I understand, uh, the Talmud Badli and the Halakha project has to be in the middle. And um, 
Therefore, you know, it's really uh, an attempt to do that. So just, you know, I, I sort of agree with kind of everything that was said. Um, to Yehuda's point, I, I, I'm not trying to talk at me. I think all law has the questions of power. And in that sense, halacha isn't special. So whatever you're going to say about power in American law, or in Israeli law, or in Persian law, you could say about halacha too. I'm not denying that. But like conceptually, that's not the difficult question. That's its own body of literature of law and power. I think the conceptual difficulty is this idea around Talut and the cultural force it has, and to borrow a cover word that I think I understand, that it is a jurisgenitive moment. And this may be to the point of the Beit Midrash and the Beit Din, uh, I think the Beit Midrash is far more jurisgenitive of halacha than the Beit Din. Um, obviously, that's contested. It depends on when and how you're looking. I think if we take the Talmud Bavli as our lodzar, um, that's where you wind up. To Benny Barat's point, I wouldn't say the difference between criminal and civil law. I think the Ksata Choshen is on civil law. I know it's on civil law. I don't think it is really engaged in the project of civil law as a contemporary lawyer would understand it. What it is doing, I think, is a fascinating question. <laughs> it's to some degree what this book is about. But I'm not sure that that's the way to go. Um, to, um, and I'll end here, to Avi's point. I would say I agree with you, and yes, that chapter is a little bit trying to create a dichotomy. But the difference is uh, legislature. The American law and its evolutions in the 20th century are spawned by a legislature. If we have a halakhic legislature that can do major reconstructive surgery, then there's no reason, certainly not conceptually, that halakha cannot be transformed into a modern day. The issue, of course, is we don't have that. And unlike America, and we look to our sources and we proceed in an interpretive way. And it's, I think this to me is, is the core difference. Uh, because we proceed in an interpretive mode, uh, we don't do radical surgery, we do tinkering at the edges. And here one has to be careful. Now, I'm not even, I think, and I have to look at it again, because I don't say it's as strong that it cannot be. I think that one has to be very careful in the transplant aspect. So as I look at this as, if we talk about Alakhan State, in the transplant model. And sometimes you do the transplant, but you always need to be aware of the complications of the transplant. And the truth is, I would agree with you in the sense, I wrote a, it's not in the book, but I wrote a little thing that after the uh, Madoff disaster, it plagued the broader Jewish community, I actually thought that a bait is exactly what is needed. Because I think taking that case to civil court misses, misses the, our own categories. And I think what I said there was that um, this isn't a question of a breach of, you know, of, of sort of parsing contract language. This is a gabait staka sheshalach yad. And that is much deeper. But, and to your point, I think that a Beit Din has to understand itself how halakha in a broad sense works. And that this cannot just be a psak din. It has to be part of the process of communal education and of self-education and of raising this issue. So, I do not think that it cannot, but I think that there's many examples of it done wrong. I try in the book to lay out why those are likely to happen. If we have people as sophisticated and tuned as you are running what they did, uh, that makes me actually very happy that there's a chance that we get this uh, right. So, I mean, I, I'm just, Mamash, I feel to that, I'm a Benny with a David, you know, the Met Khan, the Hearts of Fame, זה קצת מביך אפילו המאמן, יש כאן ארבע גדולים שכאילו מדברים על ספרו של קטן, שהוא עוד לא עושה אפילו, אני חושב שזה עוד בעיה. ובאמת רוצה להודות לכם ולחבריי וידידיי ולמשתתפים שהגיעו ממש תודה רבה.